Hi guys, welcome back to this tutorial of drawing a simple floor plan. In this part, I will teach you a simple way to insert furniture and how to add dimension lines to the drawing. Okay, in this first section, I will show you how to insert furniture to this bathroom. And instead of drawing each element manually, I will be using templates. So the first thing, I will open the file of my templates. I am going to click in this icon. Then I go to open and click in drawing to open a file TWG. And here is the file. I will open it. And here it is, a toilet, a wash basin and a bath. Each figure is set as a block and the first thing I have to do is to copy them to the file of my drawing. It's very easy. I will select all objects, press Ctrl C, then I go to the file of my drawing, which is this one, and now I will press Ctrl V and finally click to specify the insertion point. Ok, here is the furniture and, as you can understand, they are too small for my drawing, which means that I have to scale them to fit in the bathroom. So, I'm going to use the command scale, I type SC, press enter, I select the three blocks, press enter, I will specify a base point in the corner of the bath. But wait, it is getting too hard to click on it. It looks like we zoomed in too much for the snap spacing I have defined here. And for solving this issue, I'm going to switch off the snap mode temporarily. And now I can move around easily. Then I click on the base point and now I know that this distance has to be 1400. Which means that instead of specifying a scale factor, I have to insert a reference. I will type REF or simply R. Then I click in the first point of my reference line and after in the second point. Finally, I specify the new length of 1400. I press enter. And now if everything goes well, it should sit on the bathroom. I will use copy, it could be move as well. well. I select the bath and press enter. The base point I will choose this corner, because now I'm going to insert it there. And then I press escape. After the toilet I have to rotate it 180 degrees. I type RO, I select the toilet, I click on it and I will be rotating it to this position. Then I do the same for the wash basin. I type rotate, I click there and this time I'm going to rotate it but just 90 degrees to this side. Now that I finish both, I'm going to copy them to the right place. I select the object. Now I need to be careful, because if I click when this O snap point is highlighted, the block is going to that place. As I don't want it there, I'm going to hold the pointer over the midpoint and now I will drag slowly down, there is this dashed green line, so now I can place it. Then the wash basin, I'm going to move it to this place. I click in the block and now I'm going to leave it here. In the next section I'm going to show you how to insert dimension lines like this you see here. So, first of all, 
I will activate the layer dimensions by double clicking here. Then I will go to annotate. And now I click in this button to insert the dimension line. Now I have to click to insert the first point and then the second point. As you can see, I have a little problem here. It's very hard to see the numbers because they are too small. To fix this, I have to go to the Dimension Style Manager, clicking here. So in this window, I will click here to create a new style. I will name it, for example, Floor Plan and clicking Continue. As you see, there are many things here I can edit, but with few changes, you will have acceptable dimension lines. Let's see them. First, I go to Symbols and Arrows. Then I will change the arrow size in a way that they can be visible. As the distance I show you here is 50, it means that this 2.5 is too small to see in the zoom. So I'm going to increase it, for example, 50. Then I go to text. And this time I will change the text height to 80, for example. I click in OK, then close. I select the dimension line and I have to change the style to the one I just created, which is floor plan. So now it looks better. I can see the arrows there and the numbers. Great. But the problem is that if I want to print, I don't want an dimensional measurement. So how can I display this value as 3.28 meters? I can type D. It's another way to open the dimension style manager. Then I click in floor plan and after modify. Here I will go to primary units. In the section linear dimensions, for my case it's decimal. The precision it's fine like this. In suffix I type M and the scale factor I have to change it to 0.001 because I want to transpose 3280 millimeters to 3.28 meters. Then I close all these windows and you can see the 3.28 meters there. Now I will show you a simple way to add dimension lines all in a row. I click here and select this icon that says continue. Then I click in the dimension line and keep clicking to place dimension lines in a row. So as you see, this can be very useful, especially when you have large drawings, you can insert dimension lines quite fast. Now I want to add a new dimension line for this full distance. I can click again in the icon or type DLI. Then I will click in this end point of the first dimension line and for the second point I choose this one. To specify this distance I can type with the keyboard, for example 200. Again, I cannot see any number, that's because I have to click on the line and change the type to floor plan. Another option for inserting dimension lines is to use baselines. But first, look here that I have the type ISO25 set as default for the layer dimensions. I'm going to change it to floor plan to avoid doing it all the time. Now I am going to insert a new dimension line to this side below. Then I am going to click in this icon and this time choose baseline. Now with this it inserts another line. 
but this option is not defined properly. You can see that the lines overlap each other. So to fix this, I have to go to the Dimension Style Manager again. I click in Modify. Now I go to the Lines tab and here I'm going to change the baseline spacing. You can see that this value is too small for this drawing, so I will change it to 200. I click in OK and then close. Now I will click again in Baseline. I select the first one. So now it works as I want it. As you see, the purpose of the baselines is to measure different distances from a specific point. Well, it's everything in this video. So if it was useful for you, don't forget to subscribe the channel to watch the full list of tutorials for beginners. Thank you very much and I hope to see you next time.